We start tonight with a developing story in Boynton Beach. Good evening. I'm Victor Blackwell. Tiffany has the night off. Right now, residents are speaking in front of the Boynton Beach City Council with one message, not in my backyard. Bob Capel is live in Boynton Beach. He has more on what has these residents so concerned. Bob? Good evening, Victor. The source of all of this controversy, a proposed Walmart set to be built here in this plaza in Boynton Beach at the corner of South Federal Highway and Gulfstream Boulevard. Now, all of this expected to get underway tonight at a meeting that is currently just getting started. It started at 6 o'clock on the dot, and they're expected to hear from residents, many of them who say they don't want this Walmart in their backyard. Well, my first thought was, why didn't we hear about this sooner? Ken Blair is talking about a brand new Walmart expected to go up in this Boynton Beach Plaza at the corner of Federal Highway and Gulfstream Boulevard. He says a new Walmart could bring a slew of traffic problems and other concerns. They may have RVs parked there all night. And uh, if they do, uh, you know, will there be noise from the generators? Uh, will there be transient people that we really don't know. Ken and several other neighbors we talked to want to see a vote on the project delayed. There is still blighted and that so south end of Federal Highway in Boynton is, is just needs something to spark it and get it going. Meanwhile, Boynton Beach Mayor Jerry Taylor supports the new store. What we're looking to do there is uh, bring in a new type of urban Walmart. The Walmarts that most people know are over 200,000 square feet. This will be about 93,000 square feet, less than half of what you normally think of as a Walmart. The city says they are putting dozens of conditions on Walmart when it comes to landscaping, and the mayor says added jobs will be a benefit. Some neighbors remain skeptical. They expect to hire between 250 to 300 people. The average salary is over $11 and with benefits, including benefits. We moved to Trade Winds, which is a very nice neighborhood, because it was quiet. And now we're going to have a 24-hour Walmart very close to us. Now, we contacted Walmart to try and get a statement from them. They have so far declined our request for comment. I can tell you we've been out here all afternoon at the site of this new proposed Walmart, and we've had several people come up to us asking what we were doing here, and when we told them they vocalized their displeasure with the thought of a Walmart going in here, but I can also tell you that there were also people that came up saying they want to see that Walmart put into place here, and they're excited about the shopping opportunities. Now, the big problem, people say, with this Walmart going in has to do with traffic flow. There's a two-lane road that goes up through here. It's called Gulfstream Boulevard, and that, they say, cannot handle all of that traffic. If you're interested in providing your own comment and insight on this issue, you can go to the Boynton Beach City Hall right now. They are having their meeting. It's underway, and they will hear from the uh, public on this issue. They also expect, the mayor does, that this will be approved tonight. We're live in Boynton Beach. Bob Capel, WPBF 25 News.